Hey, what's up guys? Cox 97 here, and this is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to make it as fast as I can. I kind of got a sore throat today. Um, basically, I've seen the new Nerf guns that came out um, of the Dark Tag series, you know, like the Swarm Fire, the uh, Quick 16, and I think there's like the Speedload 6 or something. Not really sure. I wanted to get the Speedload. I know that. That, that looks cool. Um, <clears throat> and recently, I haven't really gotten anything new just because I don't really have any money. Um, I really only get money from allowance, and so I figured, if you guys remember a while back, I was selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards on eBay, and that was going okay, I, you know, got bids here and there, um, not a whole lot of stuff, you know, um, it was, it was pretty good, but I didn't really know a whole lot about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I didn't know if they were rare or not, and I didn't really collect them as much, although what I did collect when I was younger, I collected Pokemon cards, like, freaking crazy, and I... I've gone through all the Pokemon cards that I have, and I found that what I believe to be the most rare cards that I have, um, and I wanted to show you guys, and um, just uh, let me know in the comment section below if uh, these cards are rare, if I should get them graded, because I know that if they're in good condition, if I get them graded, they'll be worth more money. Um, none of these are 10s. I know that these are just cards that I, you know... I was like five, so I didn't really treat them with great respect. They're actually surprisingly in pretty good condition. Um, some people have, have you know, perfect tens. Um, these aren't tens. I'd be lucky if I got a nine or an eight or something. Um, but I just want you guys to let me know uh, which, are the, which of these are the rarest that I should get graded. And whether or not it would be worth the money to get them graded and sent back and stuff and then sell them on eBay. Like how much would they go for? Okay, um, so, uh, drink of water, jeez. <clears throat> By the way, that's why I've been drinking water a lot, because I've had a sore throat last week. So the first one we got is Rayquaza. Uh, he's holographic, as you can see, or foil. I don't really know the correct term. Um, I have them in these, uh, sealed case, well, not sealed cases, but, like, these cases. Not little sliver things, but, yeah, they slide around and stuff. So yeah, that's Rayquaza. Um, I know you can tell if a Pokemon card is rare or not because of the symbol at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, oh, jeez, the lighting. Uh, right there. Um, I don't know what that symbol is. It's not a star. It's like... Well, it is a star, but it's a funny-looking star, if you guys can see it. I don't know. I, I don't know what that symbol means exactly. I know that if it's a circle, it's common. If it's a diamond, it's uncommon. And if it's a star, it's rare. So I'm guessing Rayquaza is rare. There's Rayquaza. Then we got Mewtwo EX. Uh, Ta-da. Now this one, if you look at the symbol down there, I have no freaking clue what that symbol is. <laughs> what the heck is that? It's like, it's like a soccer ball. Like a darkened soccer ball. Don't know what that is, but... As you can see, he's shiny. He so there's Mewtwo EX. Um, let me just. Uh, and we got Golem. Golem here. He's a diamond, uh, so he's uncommon. I don't know if that's rare or not, but he was in pretty good condition. Here's where I think we get onto the more rare cards. Uh, Torterra level X. Um, as you can see down there. That's not a diamond, that's not a star, not a circle. I have no idea what that symbol is, so it doesn't really help. Uh, searched on the internet, didn't find anything, uh, so you guys can let me know in the comments section if, what does that mean exactly. He's not shiny or anything. Um, and here we go, uh, these are my four, well, not really, but, uh, and we got Blastoise, and he's shiny, and uh, he's a star. So yeah, there's Blastoise. He's in pretty good condition, I guess. It's pretty good. Then we got Venusaur. He's a star. He's shiny as well. These are all ones that I got, I don't know, seven years ago. I don't know. How old am I? Yeah, 13. Yeah, probably like eight years ago or so. And then, you can see how this is going. These are my two crowning jewels. Uh, these are the ones that I know are rare. Charizard. Glowy Charizard. He's a star. He's, he was released, I don't know, back in the early 2000s or so, back when I was able to walk and carry cards without breaking them. Yeah, that's Charizard there. He's pretty rare to find. And then, I've searched this up, and I know this is, 
one of the rarest cards, I think. I'm not really sure, but this is pretty rare. Charizard, um, Star Charizard. If you could see the gold star. Yeah, there you go. The gold star there. Um, he has a mountain-like symbol at the bottom right quarter. He also has a shiny little star there. You know, the little green thing there. That's the sh shiny gold star. That symbol next to it. You can't really tell, but it's really weird. But yeah, he's not shiny except for the stars. The two stars that he has. The one on the top and the really small one down below. But yeah, that's uh, Star Charizard. I know the star cards are very rare. And Charizard um, is already popular enough. And then we got... Um, those are basically the most uh, rare that I know of. Mew... He's not shiny, but he does have a little star right there next to the 10X that says promo. I searched that up. That means that they handed them out for free for events and stuff. I don't really know if that means it's rare or not, but it's Mew. And it's one back in the uh, good old uh, uh, early 2000s. And then we got Mewtwo. He's shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, he's kind of glowy, too. He is a star. So... Yeah, there's Mewtwo. Then we got Shiftry EX. He's shiny all around. He's got shiny all over the freaking place. He also has a funny uh, symbol down in the bottom right-hand corner. No idea what that symbol means. It's not a star. It's I don't even know what that is, so I don't know. But it's Shiftry EX. He's shiny. And then the last one, Metagross EX. He's shiny too. Or wait, no, he isn't, except for his name. His name is Shiny, that's it. He has a funny looking symbol down below. Same thing as Shiftry EX. No idea what that means. Um, well, actually, no. He kind of is Shiny, sort of. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for the cards. Um, so you guys can just let me know in the comment section below if you know they're rare, how much they would go for, if uh, how, how much uh, I could sell them for without getting graded um, on eBay. And uh, also let me know if you would want to buy them. I mean, that helps if I know that lots of people would want to buy the cards. Because, you know, just going on eBay and putting a card up, you're not, you know, completely sure whether or not you'll sell it quickly enough. I've looked online, and these Charizards and Star Charizards, there was one that was a 10. It was, the dude was going to sell it for $2,000. That's freaking ridiculous. I know mine ain't worth $2,000. I'll, I'll be lucky if I get 10 bucks out of it, I guess. Um, I'll be happy if I get 10 bucks. So yeah, you guys can just let me know about these Pokemon cards and stuff. Please only leave a comment if you know about the Pokemon stuff. Don't do the whole first view or, um, you know, when are you going to make more Nerf videos? I mean, yeah. Um, so yeah, just uh, yeah. let me know about that and uh, see you guys later.